when I was walking through the Capitol grounds, there were maybe a few hundred protesters scattered, so it didn't look very eventful. And I went to my office, and you know, we're starting to begin to work, and now you see protesters gathering or insurrectionists gathering. We knew that this was coming, but it was a very shocking moment when the Capitol was actually breached. I remember walking into the lobby of our office and looking at the TV, and you see these insurrectionists walking through Statutory Hall. That was shocking. Fight for Trump! Fight for Trump! Fight for Trump! We, at that time, thought we were in the safest place in the world. I did not go to work today thinking that an insurrection was going to happen. Who does? You have to realize, on a regular day, that complex would have had 10 to 15,000 people on it. But because we were going through, we were going through the pandemic, you might have had three to four hundred people up there at that time who experienced that. If you add that to Capitol Police and the number of people that came in, we were outnumbered. I'll start by just saying it was alarming. We saw like them laying siege. Like you see them breaking the windows. You see them like, like running into the Capitol. And these are places that like the members go and that like staff oftentimes is not able to go. And so we're watching this as if it's a movie. I think this has caused a, a, a veil to be removed for a lot of people. And I think that now that this veil is removed, a lot of people have the opportunity to see things as they are. I have to make sure that we get across what happened, the gravity of what the, I was there. I saw that this is serious. We cannot, we came this close to maybe losing the country. We can't come that close again. I think the future would tell, you know, if it's made us better or worse, because our actions from here on out is going to make a world of difference. These oral histories that we did today, I think will really set the pace for where we're going. I think people will look back at these interviews and really accept them as a part of our history.